Praise the Lord. Good morning and welcome to the Sunrise with Jesus. Friends, we all know that it feels so good to feel great. It feels so good to go to places where they make you feel important. But nothing can compare to that experience. No human experience, in fact, is there like this. When you enter that beautiful cathedral, and you come into the presence of God and you are there to experience something so much more awesome, something so much more great, something that overwhelms. Truly, the highest experience you and I can have on this earth is the experience of worship and reverence. Friends, several years ago, while I was a student of history, we went visiting certain historic places. And one of the sites of our tourism was this very ancient temple, now just a historic monument. It was no longer used for worship. And this temple was built during one of the most powerful empires of the past. The king built up this temple as a sign of his power, in fact. People felt honored to enter that temple. Whenever the king went for war, he would come there and make offerings. And when he won the war, he would bestow gold and, and precious gifts for the idol in the temple. In fact, the idol of the temple itself was made of gold and encrusted with precious stones. But after a period of time, when invaders struck, the first thing they did was to carry away the idol. And over time, when there was no idol, no one came to visit the temple. And today, when you go there, what you would see would be a lot of spiders, a lot of neglect, and with the spiders, reptiles, insects, and even bats and monkeys. All the creatures of darkness had taken over this, what seemed like a haunted house. Friends, the importance of a temple is drawn from the presence of the deity. The importance of a place of worship is the fact that there you would find the presence of God. Now, which is the closest place of worship for you? where you can enter and experience the presence of God. I'm sure you're bound to speak about your parish church or some other little shrine close by. Would you be surprised if I tell you that you are living in a temple? I'm not referring to your house, your home. Scripture says, don't you know that your body is the temple of God Most High? Your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. We read this in the first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 16, and chapter 6, verse 19. Your body is God's dwelling place. Today, when you go to see the mirror, recognize that you are carrying God within you. And wherever you set out, whomever you meet, know that you carry grace and blessing. Now, when we say that our body is a temple, we also must recognize that it is only in the Christian spirituality that the body has a sacred value and not in the least because our Lord Jesus Christ, our God and Savior, came to us in human form. As we read in the Hebrews, he says, here I am ready to take that body that you have prepared for me. Jesus took on the body and thereby making every body sacred. And thereby you and I in our bodies carry the Holy Spirit. Now when we say our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, do, does it mean that I must worship my own body? Not at all. On the other hand, as we read in the letter to the Romans chapter 12 verse 1, it says, Offer your body as a living sacrifice. God dwells within us and therefore this body shall be an instrument of worship. 
So how do we offer our bodies as a living sacrifice? How do we, as scripture says, glorify God in our body? In fact, in that whole passage where it talks about the body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, it concludes with this direction. In the first letter to the Corinthians chapter 6, verse 20, it says, glorify God in your body. So how do we glorify God in our body? Well, of course, as many would say, we must maintain the cleanliness of our body, maintain our appearance, take care of the health of your body. Very often, we could go on binge eating and careless living and that is to harm the body. In fact, scripture tells us whether you eat or you drink, whatever you do every day of your life, do it for the glory of God. I cannot afford to eat and drink carelessly. I cannot afford to have a very destructive lifestyle if I am carrying God in my person, in my body. But very specifically in this scripture, where it invites us to recognize our body as a temple of the Holy Spirit, and it instructs us clearly to glorify God in our body, it presents before us one direction. It says, avoid immorality. Avoid immorality and then there is an explanation. It says, Every other sin a person commits is outside of the body. But an immoral person sins against his own body. What does this mean for us? Firstly, of course, it means you need to avoid adultery. You cannot cohabit unless and until you have been sacramentally brought together by the Lord. We cannot think, okay, I will get married to this person. I cannot have an excuse that maybe my married life is so difficult or so empty that I need to have a relationship outside. The word of God is very clear about this, that there is no space for adultery and one who violates the body of himself or herself or of anyone else is opening oneself to destruction. Secondly, we look at what Jesus tells us and he says even if you look at a woman or a man with lust in your eyes you are committing adultery. Jesus is telling us the eyes how I use my eyes if I decide to let my eyes rest on a person with a longing of lust very clearly I have already violated the sacred temple of God. Now there are some people who even say that well he is or she is an actor. This, is, this person is presenting their body as an object of lust. Whatever anyone else does, none of us have the right to use our eyes to look at anyone else with lust. We need to take responsibility for the way we use our eyes. If we look at pornography, if we watch movies, if we watch anything, even on our mobile phones, maybe even a simple image that leads us to lust in our hearts, very clearly we are opening our lives to destruction. We are opening our lives to darkness. Jesus tells us how important is the eye. Matthew chapter 6 verse 22, Jesus says, The eye is the lamp of the body. If the eye is sound, the body is filled with light. But if the eye is bad, the body is filled with darkness. And if the light in you is dark, how great will that darkness be? These are the words of our Lord Jesus. How great will that darkness be in our body when our eyes are corrupted? Friends, it is from here that we proceed to the next aspect of glorifying God. Very often people abuse their own body, misuse their own body, approach their own body as an object for their pleasure. Now, sometimes they could blame culture, 
They could say that this is scientifically acceptable. There are some people who would even say that this is because of the devil that they do what they do not want to do. Friends, if we allow our eyes to settle in darkness, we can be so sure that our entire body has already been sold into darkness. Thirdly, we need to be careful about how we speak and what conversations we are a part of. We cannot afford to use our tongues to speak filth. And we cannot also fellowship with jokes that are ugly and vulgar. The tongue has its power. You and I must know the body, the mind, the spirit, the heart, they're all intertwined. And especially when I use my tongue, when I choose to rejoice in vulgar jokes or vulgar conversation, we definitely are allowing our eyes and our entire body again to be enslaved. From here, we proceed to the protection that we need to offer our mind. Do we allow ourselves to be lost in movies and stories that carry a value of lust? We need to be watchful. We could pass it off as a harmless romantic story or a romantic movie, but if it has a theme of lust, you and I need to be truthful to ourselves and give a priority to our person. Nextly, the scripture tells us, present your body as instruments of righteousness and not of sin. And this directly conveys to us that the way I dress, the way I walk, the way I present myself should be in a manner befitting of one who is an ambassador of God, of one who spreads the light of holiness. Friends, the next thing that is required of us is not to indulge, not to touch alcohol and drugs. Now, maybe in all our sophisticated gatherings, it seems to be polite and even cultured to indulge in these. But we know that there is nothing as glorious, as great, as noble as being a temple of God. And if we allow our body to be destroyed, to be tainted even by alcohol, we are desecrating this body. We have heard in the Bible of Samson, and of John the Baptist. And precisely because they were anointed with the Holy Spirit, even from their mother's womb, they were not allowed to touch alcohol. And you and I, we are carrying this great Spirit of God. Moreover, science would confirm for us that the usage of alcohol and drugs affects that part of our brain which controls our sense of morality. Finally, friends, we must know that our entire body needs to be filled with light. And therefore, we need to allow ourselves to be in the presence of God. The Eucharistic adoration is a marvelous way where I allow the Lord God, the God of light, to fill my inner being. If we thus respond to God's word and glorify him in our body, we shall be people who are bearers of light in this world. And truly, our lives and the world around us will be a brighter and more beautiful place to live in.
close your eyes Jesus is here right now he's here for you he wants to break addiction to pornography you're struggling with addiction to pornography you've not experienced the love of a father the love of a mother and you think that this addiction to pornography can set you free can bring you happiness and joy in your life Jesus is touching addiction to pornography right now Jesus is touching addiction to drugs. You are hooked to weed. You are hooked to drugs. This is a form of escapism for you. So that you don't have to face the reality and the pain of this world. Jesus is touching and breaking this addiction to drugs. Jesus is touching and breaking addiction to elicit sex sexual relationships before or after marriage is being broken right now the love of Jesus is flowing through your life you have allowed yourself to be used physically sexually you feel dirty the love of Jesus is flowing through your life and saying to you I want to restore you. I want to heal you. Jesus is here. He's here not to condemn. He's here to restore. Jesus is here. Jesus says, I am stripping you of this shame that has been holding your life. I'm touching you and healing you right now. Receive. Receive. Addiction to drugs being stripped from your life right now. Receive right now the love of Jesus flowing through you. Flowing through you. There you go. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Attachment to pornography. Addiction to pornography being removed from your life right now. That's right. It is leaving you right now. Receive your healing. All those of you standing with your hands raised, say this prayer out loud. Out loud after me. Lord Jesus. Come on, louder. Lord Jesus. I thank you for this deliverance, for this healing, for this liberation. Right now, I receive it. 
Break every doubt. Break every unbelief. I receive it right now. Thank you, Jesus. I give you the glory. I give you the praise. Thank you, Jesus. You are here, touching every. Silence, just worship him. Yeshua HaMashiach, the Lord God of Israel. You are worthy. prepare ourselves to receive a blessing from Jesus and as you receive this blessing claim your healing claim your deliverance The Ministry of the Divine Retreat Center needs your support as they continue in their commitment to preach the good news of Jesus through the weekly retreats, the daily online and television ministry, through the service of 3,000 disadvantaged persons, the mentally challenged, the aged, the destitute women, the sick and abandoned and economically disadvantaged families. If you are inspired to share in this ministry through the sacred service of almsgiving, we invite you to send your love offering to Divine Charitable Trust, CD account number 0402231. 0000014 HDFC Bank Chalakudi Branch IFSC Code HDFC 0000402 and email the details to Divine Retreat Center at gmail.com.